On March 9, 2020, Governor DeWine declared a state of emergency in Ohio in response to the rising cases of COVID-19. And on March 11th, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. In the year that followed, we adapted, we learned, we created, and we explored new ways of being church together. But in that year, we also experienced great loss. We felt isolated, and we came face to face with inequality and injustice. We invite you to join us as we reflect on, grieve, commemorate, and find hope in all that this year has been. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, 17 and 18. As we commemorate one year of living in a pandemic world, we lift up all that we have lost. We lift up the loss of connection and relationship of safety and security, of being able to gather and grieve with loved ones and in a community, being able to leave our homes without fear of the unseeable and the unknown. But we especially lift up those who have died due to the coronavirus. And we remember more than 514,000 friends and family and loved ones who have passed. But we also remember them with thanksgiving and we praise God for the impact their lives have had on our lives. This year has certainly been a great year of loss. But as people of the resurrection, we walk this journey knowing that we will one day be united in joy and peace with those who have gone before us. Let us pray. Almighty God, source of all mercy and giver of comfort, graciously tend those who mourn, that casting all their sorrow on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. 2 Corinthians 4.8 as we commemorate one year of living in the pandemic world, we give thanks and praise to God for the many ways you have loved and cared for one another. In the midst of overwhelming challenges, emerged new ministries, new relationships, and a new way of worshiping the living God. You became a guide along the path and a beacon for the community. This year has not been easy. Answering God's call has meant long days and long nights, endless learning and relearning of what used to come so naturally to us, not to mention Zoom-filled weeks and technology fatigue, isolation and sacrifice, and asking questions to which there are no easy answers. And yet you still answered the call, God's call. You stepped up for your parish and found ways to provide spiritual, physical, and emotional care, food for the hungry, transportation for the isolated, and even Wi-Fi for the technologically challenged. You cared for the sick and the vulnerable, and you served your community with courage and grace. And we see you. We see your efforts and we give thanks to God every day for your perseverance, for your faithfulness, and for your love. Well done, good and faithful servant. So very, very well done. Let us pray. 
Gracious God, we thank you for the work and witness of these, your faithful servants, who have enriched their communities and the Northwestern Ohio Synod by sharing their gifts as your hands and your feet. Now bless and preserve them as they continue their work. Day by day, guide them and give them what is needed, friends to cheer their way, and a clear vision of that to which you are calling them. By your Holy Spirit, be present on their journey, that they may walk with the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. As we commemorate one year living in a pandemic world, we find hope in your work to be Christ's presence in different and in new ways. In the midst of a pandemic, you not only reached out and met the needs of your community, but you created new ministries and worship experiences. Things we couldn't have even imagined a year ago became your way of being. You continue to ask questions and to dream new dreams. You found ways to lean on each other and remind each other that despite physical distance, we are connected by the light and the love of Christ. The Holy Spirit breathed life into our midst and your holy experimentation, your sanctified imagination, it brought hope to our communities. We give thanks to God for all that you have done and all that you will do to care for one another. This current reality will not be our reality forever. We have dwelled at the foot of the cross, but we look to the light and to the promise of the empty tomb. Let us pray. Into your hands, almighty God, we place ourselves, our minds to know you, our hearts to love you, our wills to serve you, for we are yours. Into your hands, incarnate Savior, we place ourselves. Receive us and draw us after you, that we may follow your steps. Abide in us and enliven us by the power of your indwelling. Into your hands, O hovering spirit, we place ourselves. Take us and fashion us after your image. Let your comfort strengthen, your grace renew, and your fire cleanse us, soul and body, in life and in death, in this world of shadows and in your changeless world of light eternal, now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 